Hey guys, today I'm going to be interviewing someone that you've probably heard of or you may even know, Amber Schultz. Hi guys, so I'm so excited to be able to answer these questions and um, I'm a sophomore in high school and um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, freshman year, cross country, I um, got a 17.56 5k and um, during freshman year of track, I came in third for the 3200 with a time of 10:43, and then um, over the summer I do USATF Junior Olympics, and I also came in third place for um, national competition. And this year, um, sophomore cross country season, I got fourth at state, being the um, fastest lower classman. And all of these experiences are just like so amazing, and I'm so thankful for running because it has been just like such a big part of my life, and I love it so much. So Amber, when you're racing, what do you tell yourself in order to not give up mentally and physically? Yeah, what I do in a race to kind of help me just like mentally not quit and keep pushing through the pain is to remember that quitting is forever, um, but pain is temporary and you have to push through the pain. And I just try to remember all of the training and all of the things that I worked so hard on to get to that point and that I need to just do my best and give it all I have in that moment because quitting is not worth it. <laughs> which one do you prefer, cross country or track? And if it's track, which event? So this is an illegal question. That's what I call this. This is the, I hate this question so much. Um, So cross country or track? I mean, I... This is so hard. I feel like if I say one or the other that like, I don't know, like, I just, it's so hard. I really, really, really love the training for track. Um, and I also really like the races for track, but I don't really like the training for cross country. So, okay, I like both of the races for track and cross country, but track, I feel like I like it better, to be honest. I think I like track better just because it's so much more like, I don't know. It's just a lot more crazy and I just like it a lot. <laughs> what is your absolute most favorite dessert? Yeah, so my favorite dessert is definitely probably um, like a vegan ice cream. I really like coconut and cashew ones. Um, because those are like, I don't know, I find them the most creamy, like almond ones. I don't know, they're just like not my favorite. And also, um, Hue Dark Chocolate, though with hazelnut butter, is so good. And I'm currently really obsessed with um, the Rebel drinks. I literally drink like one a day and I chug it in like five seconds. They're literally so good. So Amber, who is your biggest inspiration? So my biggest inspiration would definitely have to be um, my mom because um, she is literally amazing. She has been running since she was in high school and she does marathons still and she can keep like a six minute, six something pace for a whole marathon. Like she's absolutely insane. She's done like 40 marathons now. Um, she runs like every single day. She's, she's crazy. I just, I love her so much and she's, she inspires me every single day to keep going and especially, um, my coach and Shalane Flanagan. <laughs> Of course, who does she not inspire? How much time or how many days per week do you normally devote to strength training or running drills? I devote quite a lot of time to strength training. Um, when I am in season and I'm racing, I usually strength train um, two to three times a week. And now um, I'm strength training um, four to five times a week, but that doesn't mean they're always super hard. Sometimes it's just 30 minute workouts. Sometimes it's an hour and a half. Like it really just depends. And I focus a lot on like stability and um, stuff like that. But I could definitely say I could focus a little bit more on it because I don't do like a lot of rolling and stretching and stuff. And that's something that I really lack in. That's like the main thing I know I need to work on to um, help myself get better. How do you ensure that your body gets enough fuel to account for all the miles you're putting in and other training? Um, to make sure I get enough fuel, especially during like big training weeks and stuff, um, you just gotta keep eating. <laughs> I literally eat so much during a day. Um, 
yeah, you just have, I just add like a ton of nuts and seeds and stuff because I'm like kind of mostly plant-based. So I try and eat just like as much high density foods as I can. I literally probably eat like five tablespoons of peanut butter a day and lots of nut butters and seeds and uh, just like all of that <laughs> good stuff. What does a normal training week look like for you? So a normal training week for me would be um, or at least like right now, um, on Mondays I do uh, usually a recovery run from like four to five miles. Um, Tuesday I have a track workout and then on, I usually will do strength training both of those days and Wednesday I will do um, a recovery like hike usually. Um, and then I'll also do strength training Thursday. I will do a track workout as well as Friday a track workout. And on Friday we also do strength training and um, Saturday is like usually a long run or a race depending on what it is and sunday is a rest day which is today um and yeah if you had to choose one food that you dislike absolutely hate would never eat what would it be food i despise the most i honestly had to think about this one a lot because um i don't really know but then i remembered i absolutely hate hate like absolutely hate papaya like i literally think it tastes disgusting it's like uh, uh, i literally don't even want to think about it it's so gross <laughs> any specific words of wisdom or advice for high school runners or endurance athletes in general the number one tip that i have for athletes and stuff in general is um especially young ones is to keep it fun um, that it's important to have goals and it's important to set um, things to strive for and just, you know, have your determination towards something. But it's also important that you're liking what you do because if you're dreading every single run, if you're dreading every single race, like, it's not going to last long. It's not going to be sustainable. Like, you want to just... Make sure you're taking care of your body. You're listening to your body. Don't push yourself too hard. Make sure you're fueling yourself. Make sure you're loving what you do and strength train because that will help you a lot during running too. Make sure you love what you do and that you're having fun. Don't put too much pressure on yourself, but still have goals is definitely the best advice I can give because once I started doing that, it just made such a big difference in my overall outlook on um, running, my goals, and just everything. And last question for you today, Amber. What does your future look like with running and any specific goals that you have? So my future plans with running is um, I would like to go to college and run, but ultimately I'm going to listen to what my heart wants to do at that time. And I'm kind of just going to go with the flow and see where life takes me. But as of right now, I would love to be a pro runner. I would love to run marathons one day and... Um, you know, just go as far as I can in running. That sounds like a great plan. And I just wanted to thank you so much for being here with us today, Amber. And I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy.